All right, guys, here it is. My 1969 Dodge Super B. Uh, had this car for about three years. Uh, found it in a field next to that old Roadrunner, which I'll make a video on that. But uh, this is the next project I have. Um, let's get right into it. I started to remove wiring which was a mess. Um, you know, somebody bypassed this. You know, they went through because that thing was toast. I took out the forward light harness. I got all that stuff up here. It's got some issues with some of the wiring. Clips broken, but I think they make these. You can replace just this plastic piece. I have to look into that, but uh, let's let's take a look inside. I already took out the cluster, the AC car. It's got the box, everything's still underneath. But you can see it's got issues. You know, it was an automatic car. They put a four-speed in it, so it's it's got it's got rust in the floors back there. Looks good. That little these little small sections. That one there. Eh. Passenger side doesn't look too bad. Um, I tore the headliner out. It was actually still in the car. All the interior was still in the car. It was all there. Um, it just didn't have a motor transmission in the car at the time. But I found a 440 and a four speed sitting next to the car. The guy threw it in. He didn't know what the transmission was. He thought it was to a Ford tractor. Um, but he, somebody had already done work to the fenders, put new fenders on it, but there's no telling what, what it looks like uh, on the inside. But we'll take a look at the trunk. Of course, the trunk center pan is the bad part, but it stops, you know, right there where I, I painted some spray painted some junk on there to slow it down till I got to it. That was three years ago, but that section, all that on the outside is good. The truck, it's extensions, um, all the numbers are there. Trunk lid looks pretty good. I don't think. I think there are any issues with that. Um, Let's look underneath. So I already removed the gas tank too, but it looks, it's just a lot of surface rust on this thing. Um, you know, and until I start tearing into it, there is a section right there, that rear frame rail. That's where it was sitting when I found it. it was sitting on that thing. And when I put tires on it, I would already saw that issue. But everything else I've jabbed with the screwdriver seems okay. But of course, when you start to blast or do any work on them, you find more issues. Ugh. So yeah, the top of the car was brown when I found it. So again, I put some stuff on there to, to stop it. But yeah, I mean, the whole car was there. You know, all that stuff's underneath the dash. Um, you know, and the doors look good. I mean, this is all nice looking. The doors look great. The, I mean, the rockers. I think the driver's side rocker needs some work. Um, you know, inside the fender wells, that factory undercoating. Um, so, yeah, this is it. It was a white car white interior with a black top no stripe 383 automatic with air conditioning let me get the fender tag i think i got it yeah all right it may be a little tough to see let me let me see if i can okay so yeah yeah it is kind of tough to see but you got, uh, yeah, I see white, 
white bench seat, white door, like the top part of the door. It's got a radio. There's the vinyl stripe delete, air conditioning. So, I mean, it's just a, it wasn't a, I mean, it's a Super B, but it wasn't anything special. I mean, it kind of, just a white on white car, but if I see it better that way and backwards, but yeah, uh, found a build sheet, but went to a Cornet and I gave that away to a guy that collects them. I had no need for it. I didn't want anything from him. Um, let's see what else. Um, you know, it's, it's got, uh, manual brakes, does have power steering, um, but that's it, that's where I'm at, just, it's just a real rough starting point, but it's paid off, it's got a title in my name, Texas title, free and clear, um, the plans are, I'd like to just get it running. I don't know what that 440 looks like because it had a mount, mount of dirt on top. It didn't have an intake and the ants were making a home in it. And I'll show you what it did to the bell housing for the four speed. So yeah, you can imagine what the block looks like. But it's in Houston right now. Machine shop outside Houston. But coronavirus has got them shut down. And then uh, I got I found this four-speed next to it. That came out of a Coronet RT, a 70. Uh, so I guess my plans are, yeah, I just, I just want to... I'm, I'm on a budget. I can't go full resto. Even if I did, I wouldn't go back white. I wouldn't go back vinyl top. I don't know what color I'd go if I could. Everything I do to this car, I got to do on my own. But luckily, since I have a charger that I've finished a while back it's kind of the same it's really close to being the same I mean that's the gauge cluster it's the same on a charger so and the in the wiring you know I can refurbish that stuff because that factory wiring is expensive and since I have a manual and my charger is the same I'd like to stick stick with that best I can and you know engine wise i'm hoping that if that motor is not good i'm i'm probably going to pull the motor out of this road runner and use it i already got a transmission for the super b that's been rebuilt and it comes with i had that it came with that bold hood it came with this hood also which i think these hoods are a little expensive but it's uh it's the fresh air hood and it's got, you know, it's got everything under here. These little, this little cable, everything works, you know, but then I'd have to get the intake and the, I don't know if I'll mess with that. I might just sell that, put money towards this car because I've had it right now, I don't have but a thousand dollars or so to spend on it. Um, but the more overtime I work and the more money i can throw at it so yeah that's where i'm at it's just slowly but surely i'm gonna try to get this thing back on the road uh, try to uh, uh, you know attack as much rust and, and replace that stuff as i can um you know that's where the battery set so you know, it's, uh, it's got holes i'll have to you know mess with that and then we got this all this all chewed up from pulling the motor i guess a couple of times you know, but it's got the numbers on it, so I'd like to keep that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that uh, what I'll do next is uh, make a video for that Roadrunner, and then I'll make one for my Charger, too, just to... Why not? Everybody likes a, a 69 Charger. Let's see if you can see it. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hopefully, I'll be getting more videos out of the progress on this car. And I guess that's it, guys. I appreciate it.